All right, today I'm with the Galaxy S5. This is the T-Mobile variant. Stock 5.1.1 Lollipop. So first thing we're gonna do is go into settings and we're gonna enable the developer options. So right now we're on Android version 5.1.1. I'll bring that up a little closer so you can see. And we're gonna go to the build number, tap on that until it says developer mode has been turned on. Click back, developer options. And you can see it is turned on. And then we're gonna enable USB debugging. Click okay. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hook this up and get it debloated so it's not going to do the automatic updates because we don't want it to do those automatic software updates. So we're going to root the Galaxy S5 T-Mobile version. We've already got the files downloaded so what we're going to do is go into download mode. So if you haven't yet what you're going to do is turn your phone off. To go into download mode we're going to hold the volume down center home button and then the power button. There's a little warning there. We're going to go ahead and hit the volume up to continue. And now we're in download mode. Next, we're going to go ahead and connect the USB cable and we're going to open up Odin. All right. So when we connect this to your, the computer, you're going to see it change under IDCOM. Right here, it's changed to COM4. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and add the file and this is gonna be what we're gonna use to root. I've got it saved on the desktop. So we're just click on AP, go to desktop, and we're gonna get the twerp recovery image. And this is a .tar file. And then when you're ready, you're just gonna hit start and then you're gonna see it start downloading to your phone. Should be a pretty quick process though. So I just hit start, you can see the line going across, it's downloading. And then take a look up at the computer, it'll tell us that it's passed once it finishes. Device is rebooting. And then we'll turn it back off once it passes. Usually takes a minute to two minutes. Oh. All right, so now you can see that it turned to pass, a green pass here. And the next thing we're gonna do is turn the phone off and we're gonna reboot it back into our new recovery, which is twerp recovery. So we're gonna hit power off. Okay, phone's off. We're disconnecting the USB cable. And then we're gonna go from here on the device. Okay, so first thing, hold the volume up. Center home and power. Once you feel that vibration, you can let go of the power button. All right, we've got success. We're into the twerp recovery. So I'm gonna just hit never show this screen again during boot. Then we're gonna go ahead and swipe to the right to allow modifications. Next thing we wanna do is install. So we're gonna click install, and I had this on the external storage. So select storage, micro SD card, click okay. And the G900T F0F6 5.1.1. 
rooted. So that package, make sure it matches your build number of your device. Uh, this should only work for this device. So if you're updated, you don't want to go ahead and do that if you're past this. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and swipe so that way we can install this rooted file. Should just take a couple seconds, there it goes. And then next we're gonna go ahead and reboot system. And then when it comes up, we'll see, we'll check root checker to verify that it's rooted. Okay, so we're opening up Root Checker. And we're gonna hit that Verify Root. Go ahead and grant super user request. And yes, your device is now properly rooted. All right, well, that's how you're gonna get root your Galaxy S5. This is the T-Mobile version on 5.1.1. Uh, the next video, we'll go ahead and show you how to put on a custom ROM. We'll upgrade it to Marshmallow. Thanks for watching. All right, we're back with the Galaxy S5 T-Mobile variant, and we're gonna go into twerp recovery and do a backup. So I'm just holding the volume up, center, home, and then the power button. Okay, there's a twerp screen. We're just gonna click on backup. And I like to check everything, so it's a full backup. And then you're just gonna select storage, make sure it's on that micro SD card that you've got installed, and then just swipe. All right, so I'm just gonna sit this down and we'll come back when it finishes. All right, so we're back and it finished the backup. As you can see, backup complete, successful. And then instead of rebooting the system, we're gonna go back and we're gonna install the new ROM. So we're gonna click wipe. And we're wiping it first. And I'll do that a couple times just to make sure. And then we're going to go to install. And resurrection remix. And then we're going to swipe to install. Alright, and then we'll be back once that gets done. All right, we're back and it finished installing, so we're gonna go ahead and reboot the system. Check out that Resurrection Remix. Alright, we're back. Uh, we just finished installing that custom ROM and I just loaded G apps. So we're going to go ahead and install the G apps. We're going to go here and I put it in the download folder. And we're going to go with the mini G apps.
All right, that's installing now. As you can see, I get that from OpenG Apps. All right, that just finished. We're gonna go ahead and reboot system. It's on Marshmallow 6.0.1. Resurrection Remix. Okay, so it's optimizing those new apps. And there we go. Okay, we're just setting our launcher. So as you can see now, we've got the Google Apps, we've got Gmail, Google Now, Google Play Store. So this is the mini version, so it doesn't have like your Chrome or anything in there, but you can add that from the Google Play Store if you like it. So now you can add your Google account to the device and you're gonna be all set. I'm gonna go ahead and go down and show you about device, about phone, Resurrection Remix. This is the T-Mobile S5 and running on Android 6.0.1. All right, hope you enjoyed watching. We'll see you in the next one. Again, this is Marcus at IQ Android. Make sure you like and subscribe.